Did you entertain crowdfunding for part of the budget? I thought about it. Um, I felt, I feel to a successful, I, I really believe in crowdfunding in a lot of ways. I feel for it to be most successful, you need to have the support of everyone involved. And for me, David's been like beyond supportive, like overwhelmingly supportive of the project. But he wasn't a producer on the film. Um, he, you know, he would say this too. He's not. He wasn't interested in the process. He wanted to let me go make it. And I sort of felt to run a successful crowdsourcing campaign for it, it would have needed his in involvement because I felt it would have been sort of disingenuous to be the way to run a successful campaign would have been like, hey, Sedaris fans, do you want to see a Sedaris movie? And it felt it would have sort of. I didn't feel comfortable asking him. Maybe he would have helped me and done a video. I'm not sure, but I. Didn't, it felt wrong to ask him. You know, for me, and I felt without his support, it felt sort of wrong to run a campaign for it. Now that there's a finished film, if I had, we, you know, we've closed distribution, so, I, but if I was doing a self distribution, I would consider it now that there's a finished film, and now that I have interviews with David and elements I can use um, with his permission, of course, but but I feel like it's each each project's its own, and some projects are meant to be crowdfunded, and, and this one just wasn't, wasn't one of them. I didn't feel like I could engage the community in the right way, and also we had some actors attached. But they ended up not being the actors in the final film, and I felt like we would have needed to utilize them, but I felt uncomfortable with that because I didn't have a working relationship with them yet. And they were, you know, slightly bigger names than what ended up in the movie, just by the nature of whoever. At the time I cast them, they weren't bigger names, and they got bigger names and got too busy to be in the film, and I ended up with a cast I could have only dreamed of having anyway, so I'm, I'm thrilled about that. But it felt strange to bring them involved. It just didn't feel like I could do it the right way. And I feel like when I look at the really successful crowd, crowd campaigns, sure there's some outliers that go into the three and four hundred thousand dollars, but I really feel like the most ambitious you really should get, you know, is it, it, to expect is at the most, you know, 100. You know, I feel like even the Canyons, I think they ended up going to like 130, but you, know, you have Paul Schrader and Brett Easton Ellis who each have massive, loyal, decades-long fan bases. And even then, they pushed a lot on that campaign, and you know, they hit, which is an incredible amount of money, but that still wasn't enough for me to make the film. So I also felt uncomfortable going out there and being like, give me $100,000 and maybe I'll be able to find the other however much we need. It, it, it just felt wrong for this project, but I hope I can do something one day that I can make cheaply enough. You know, this movie had to be shot on location, it had 30 speaking parts, it had, you know, a different location every day, all exteriors, it just had things that naturally made it expensive. Um, and, uh, but I hope to do something, if I did something small, if I did a, a movie I could shoot on my own and with minimal crew and minimal locations and here in Los Angeles, I would, I would totally consider I'm um, doing crowdsourcing that way.